What is up, YouTube? It's me, John Avenger, once again, and welcome to another installment of movies that people bitch about. And I got a haircut, nice, clean, shaven haircut for the uh, Thanksgiving weekend coming up in a few days. I can't wait. And uh, I'm going to eat a lot of turkey, and I'm going to go shopping. So I'm looking forward to that. But this is another film. This is from 2006. It was a reboot of a film series that was doing well until 1987 when it hit a brick wall once Canon got the rights for it. But no... I enjoy this film. I don't care about Man of Steel. I'm going to tell you why, you know, after I, I defend this movie. And that is Superman Returns. This is the two-disc special edition that came out a couple years ago. And I had this film on full screen back in, like, 2010 or 11. But I wanted to get the two-disc because it has a lot of features. And I got this for, like, 50-something cents on Amazon, brand new. I don't hate this movie. Oh, it's boring. It has nothing. It's this, this, it's this and that. I don't, br I don't even blame Brian Singer because, first of all, he was going to do X-Men th 3, but then the studio wanted him to do this, and, and, you know, they wanted to rush this production so he couldn't do X-Men 3, and that turned out a lot worse than this. I like this movie. I think Brandon Routh is awesome as Superman. He actually has emotion on his face. He's not a, a freaking driftwood like, like freaking Henry Cavill. Uh, that When the action's there, it's not very much action, but when it's there... I like it. I can actually see what's going on. The camera's not shaking every five seconds. It's not zooming in and zooming out like they did in Man of Steel. I think the flight sequences are better. The flying, you can actually see Superman flying, and it's so graceful. And, it, you know, Kate Bosworth as Lois, yeah, she's not the best. She's not Margot Kidder. But she looks more like Lois than freaking Amy Adams. Amy Adams looks like she just stepped off a set of Enchanted with normal clothes and is playing Lois Lane. No, I'm sorry, Lois is a brunette. She's not a blonde, she's not a redhead, she's a brunette. Get that through your heads, Hollywood. We're not stupid, you know? Uh, I like um, I like the rest of the cast. I like, uh, what's his face? Kevin Spacey, awesome Lex Luthor. He's not as good as Gene Hackman. I thought Hackman was better, but uh, he was a good, he was a decent follow-up. He's gonna be, be He's better than what we're gonna get next year with Jesse Eisenberg. I'm sorry, Eisenberg is not Lex Luthor. He's too young. He looks too doofy. He just, I don't take him seriously. Um, Cal Penn, yeah, he's there for a supporting role. I don't mind uh, Parker Posey. I think she's a good actress. I know she's done a lot of independent work. Sam Huntington, I don't mind him as Jimmy Olsen. Frank Langella, I think he has more to do than Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne is bored out of his mind and has nothing to do until the end. And he, even then, he has nothing to do. Um, and his performance is kind of like just there. It's not anything special. Uh, it was good to see James Marsden in something other than the, the X-Men films. I mean, what did they do to him in X-Men 3? They kill him off like a bitch and he does nothing. And he's the leader of the X-Men, for fuck's sake. Here, he's, he's there, you know. I like the little boy that played Superman's son. Spoiler alert. He's very cute, and I, it wasn't annoying. You know, his powers kind of came out of nowhere, but there's a lot of things. I like the score. They brought John Williams' score back. Man of Steel didn't have that. It was just it was just some pretentious freaking score by Hans Zimmer who couldn't save that movie. I'm sorry. It was not subtle. It was like, Whoa. no, I'm sorry. Superman is supposed to be subtle. It's not dour and dark like Man of Steel is. It knows what it is. It's a Superman movie. It's not some... Bet knock off of the Dark Knight, you know, where everything sucks and it has to be brooding and, and look, you know, realistic. No, screw realism. This is a man that flies, that comes from another planet, that has superpowers. You can't take that and put it into realism. It just doesn't work. And people are like, oh, but this is a, a half-hearted version of Superman and Superman 2. I disagree. It does its own thing. It doesn't copy the first two films. It has similar things because it is a Superman movie. They wanted to keep continuity. It ignores the events of part four. It acts like it doesn't exist, which is a great tentpole because if they had mentioned four, it would have been a disaster. And uh, even though, you know, it's a, yeah, he has to lift the planet off and all that. There are flaws. I wish there was more action. I wish that, there, you know, the, there was more... Uh, of a, of a villain at the end besides Lex Luthor again, but you know, other than that, I don't hate the film, and it is very long, but I don't hate it. I know a lot of people did. They were expecting like you know Superman one and two. We didn't get that, but we got something better than than three and four. It wasn't as comedic as part three, which I do like, 
but there, there's some things you could have cut out of there. And uh, four was a low budget mess that was boring and just had nothing and had a lame villain, lame premise, lame storyline, nothing engaging. I don't mind the story here. The, the critics actually, some of them agree with me. Rotten Tomatoes gave it like a 70 something percent. I think it's a good film. It stands on its own. It doesn't have to be a dowering, depressing ending like it did with Man of Steel where everything sucks and Superman can't even have a smile on his face. He's just so serious and, and so, you know, like alone. And here, I buy it more. I like Brandon Routh. I like him in, in Arrow as, as, as uh, the Atom. He has a, like an Iron Man-like suit and I like him as an actor. I liked him in The Nine Lives of Christmas. He's a good actor. People don't give him enough credit. They're like, oh, he just looks too much like Christopher Reeve. He does. But he wasn't copying Christopher Reeve. He did his own thing. And I think he succeeded well. I don't find the movie boring. I, I think the movie is engaging enough. If people can praise Nolan's films, I can praise this. Because I think it, 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 you know, it took a long time. They were going to do a sequel. They scrapped it, which I don't know why they did that. And they decided to go with Man of Steel, make it dark and gritty. And it doesn't work for him. Superman is supposed to be a beacon of light. A nice bright color, you know, uh, you know, every man that we can relate to. Not some dowering, dark presence like Batman. He's not Batman. That's why in, man, in uh, Batman v. Superman, I'm pulling for Ben Affleck to kick his ass because I don't care about this new Superman. I like this one. I like Christopher Reeve. I like Dean Cain in Lois and Clark. Those are the Supermans I like that I grew up watching. Not this dowry, uh, I'm in pain all the time, wannabe, symbolic Superman. It's fun. It is what it is. I like the cast. I don't hate the cast. Um, and the film is shot well. I can see what's going on. Brian Singer knows how to shoot a freaking movie. Uh, you know, the, I don't mind the ending. I think it's ballsy. You know, they try to almost kill him. You know, Lex Luthor stabs him. So it doesn't, it is PG-13, unlike the first two films. And uh, when it when it does things right, it does a lot of things right. Yeah, the pacing, you know, you could have cut some trim some characters here and there, but I don't think it's terrible. People treating this like it's Batman and Robin, it's nothing like that. And I'll take this over any of the Amazing Spider-Man films because those bored me as soon as they started. Here, I was like, okay, we got the we got the Man of Steel back and they have that awesome John Williams score and it, while it's flawed, it did a lot of things right. That's why it made money. People keep forgetting that it made money, but it did. And the budget's on screen. I think the visual effects are done well. The art direction's good. The directing is fine. The writing, while there's some flaws, it's not terrible. And it's it's a fun movie. I don't know why people say that this is a horrible movie. I will never understand it. And it's almost 10 years old. I want to watch it again. It has a lot of features. So it deserves a two-distance special edition. I wish it had a commentary like the other films. But I don't think this... The suit looks fine. The new suit looks like shit. It's like darker and it looks like a pregnant s ready to explode it's stupid i like this movie better sue me i would think i wish routh was in the justice league and not henry cavill but that's just me i like superman returns i don't hate it so that's my uh two cents on that movie i do enjoy it i don't think it's i don't think it's as bad as man of steel people just gave man of steel the pass because yeah it has action but you could barely see what's going on because it's like this or like this or like this, or like this, or like this. It's too much. It's too much of that. And way too much CGI. Here, I can handle it. I even like Supergirl, for crying out loud. Not the, the, the 84 film. I haven't seen that. I'm seeing the show that came out this year. It's good, because it's not boring. It doesn't have to be some dramatic art piece. No, it's not like that. It's fun. I have fun watching it. I want to have fun watching a movie. Sue me. That's what I want. Anyway, that's my two cents on that. Next uh, time I'll be talking about a different film. And uh, I'll keep on going with this because people seem to be liking it, leaving comments and liking and subscribing and, you know, giving their two cents on it. You can disagree. You don't like the film, that's fine. But don't be an asshole saying Man of Steel is better because it has better action. It's too much CGI and it looks like a freaking cartoon. And I don't like Henry Cavill. Give me a Superman I can care about. I don't care about Cavill. I like Brandon Routh, I like Christopher Reeve, and I liked Dean Kane. I even like George Reeves from the original show. Give me one that I can get behind. So, 
Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for watching this. And I hope to do more of these in December. See you later.